What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and another week of building a motor. So as you guys seen last week, I was, uh, I'd finished up degreeing the cams. Cams are degreed, good to go. Um, basically there's only one check left that I want to do before I tear it down and do final assembly. I know I said that that was going to be my next step was to tear it down and do final assembly. But then I was like, yeah, that's right. I got to check piston to valve clearance. So no disassemble. that's what we're doing today. Um, I already kind of started on it before I grabbed the camera just to kind of make sure I knew what I was doing before I talk like an idiot to a camera. But um, basically to start out the FCS uh, cam degree kit I bought came with two um, check springs and the check springs are used to go in place of your actual valve springs so that you can actually push them down because those Ferrea valve springs, you ain't going to push down They're, They got, yeah, good luck. Um, so you need to take the, take your valve springs out, put the check springs in. I should have actually done it before I degreed the cams, but I'm kind of, like I said, new to all this. So I didn't do that. And I just, Went ahead, degree the cams, got it done. Ended up tearing the cams out, put the check springs in, and uh, now we're back to where we were. But basically, your checks is gonna be hard to see, but we'll just use this valve just, just for this reference. Like if this was cylinder one, you would pull this valve spring out, check spring would go in there, retainer would go on top, and then you would just put that back in. You go to take valve springs out make sure that cylinder is at top dead center because you don't want the valve to drop all the way down to the cylinder or you're going to be pulling the head back off so i bought this tool from speed factory um the valve valve spring tool um it basically you just um well obviously the cams and everything are out but this would just bolt onto the head and then you run this bolt down into this. It sits onto that cup, kind of like so, and just pushes down on the valve spring. And then you um, grab a little magnetic screwdriver and you pull the keepers out. And then reverse to put the check springs in. Just pop your retainer on, push the spring down, put your keepers back in, you're good to go. Um, so then basically I got it back together, but still want to be at zero valve lash on first on sonar number one here. And then, um, you know, back to true TDC, which I found again with piston stop. We're not there right now because I've already done the first two checks on the exhaust side. Um, just because I wanted to know what I was doing before I came on here and started yapping. So, uh. Basically, what we need to do is, um, well, I keep looking at the camera. Before, or we want to start on the exhaust side, and we want to look at. I'm starting at 15 or no, 20 degrees. We'll start at 20 degrees before top dead center, um, and then we'll go in increments of two degrees. And every two degrees um, on the wheel. So like right now, I think I'm at I'm at 18 degrees. And grab the old trusty extension here and then get down in there and push down on that retainer and the spring will go down and the valve will go down and you can you can actually feel it contact the piston and each time before i do that i'm zeroing out my dial indicator and then i'll watch the dial indicator go around and count you know and find out what my clearance is so basically for the exhaust side we're gonna go into 20 degrees, 18 degrees, 16, and down. So at 20 degrees, I had um, 0 0.168, 0 0.152. Um, basically, this is from four pistons. So they're saying piston to valve clearance, intake, what is that, 60 thousandths, and exhaust, 120 or 80 with a good spring. So I'm gonna try to set up the camera and uh, 
show you guys a couple of these and then we'll we'll flip over to the intake side and knock the intake side out and if everything checks out then i can go ahead and final assemble this thing so let's get to checking clearances all right so i already did 18 degrees so now we're gonna go to 16 degrees which i'm kind of there or wait 20 it's 18 a little bit more and that's about 16 there so then we come up here zero this guy back out tighten that down if I can set you guys up here all right and I'll grab this here extension and come back here push down on that retainer and we'll watch your dial indicator go around There's one, so like 162, or wait, 140, 10, 20, 30, 40, I think 143, roughly. I'm gonna come over here, 16 degrees, 0.143. So now, come over here again, we're at 16, now we go to 14, right there, so now we're going to go right back up here one more time, get you set up, grab our extension again, push down on that retainer and a valve, Oh, almost skipped a step. Wouldn't have been a big deal. I mean, we could subtract the difference. But we'll get this thing zeroed back out here. Zeroed out. And one. What was that? One. 10, 20, 30. 35, well, 136 or so. I have a 136. Then go ahead, write that down again. And as you can see, we're incrementally getting closer and closer because as that piston comes up from that exhaust stroke um, towards the top dead center, it's obviously where the overlap is, where the intake is going to be pulling as well so that's when the valves are going to be uh, we're, we're looking at the point where the valve that overlap is where the valves are closest to the piston so i'm going to go ahead get the rest of these um i just showed you guys a couple of them and i'll show you guys on the intake side when we get over to the intake side but i'm going to knock out the rest of the exhaust quick because it'd be way easier if i'm just not running the camera back and forth so stay right there and we'll be on the intake side here in the next clip all right, so there's my exhaust readings. And uh, going off of the spec from four piston, exhaust 120, 80 thousandths with a uh, good spring. Well, the tightest it got was 127 thousandths. So, I mean, we're good on the exhaust side. So now I gotta do the intake side. Now the difference between the exhaust side and the intake side, exhaust side we started 20 degrees before TDC and checked every in increments of 2 degrees up till TDC. So now for the intake stroke, we're going to start at top dead center and go 20 degrees after top dead center and get our readings every 2 degree in 2 degree increments. Um, so try to set you guys up here again. This time we're starting right away. I haven't done any of the intake yet. All right, so I'm going intake side here. At top, dead center. Oops. It's one. Both. 
105. Give or take, actually, you might want to zero that and try that again. That'd be a pain in the ass here. That's about one. Yeah, I'd say it's right about one. So, over here, write that down. About 100. Now, go back to our degree wheel. Man, we'll go to two degrees. It's so tedious trying to move this thing and not overshoot it. Especially when you're holding the GoPro. Now we're at two degrees. Grab my trusty guy here again. And we'll see where we're at here. Oh shit, I forgot to zero this. See you guys? That's why you gotta take your time. Be a lot easier with the camera in my hand too. Alright. One. Not even. More like 90. 94. Alright. So. Here. Point nine four. And then same thing. I'm probably gonna set the camera down. I'm just gonna knock these out in increments of two. Keep doing the same thing. It's pretty, I mean, if I sat here and did every one of them, you guys are gonna get bored. So I'm gonna knock these out. We'll look at the readings and then, uh, yeah, we'll see if uh, we're in spec on this side. Stand by. All right, so I got the intake side done. And it uh, looks like the closest we got was at eight degrees or 75 thousandths which our spec was six intake 60 thousandths therefore we are within spec more than enough piston of valve clearance is a-ok -okay and good to go so now it's just a matter of turning this thing down getting the cams out and uh putting everything back together the way it's supposed to be timing this motor and being done one final assembly so i gotta tear it down one more time put it back together one more time and it'll be ready to go in the car. And that's just a matter of me getting my transmission done. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment, do all that cool stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.